Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new video here on Insider Flyer. Today's video is only about uh, one topic and well the New York Times has just released an article, a very detailed and well written article uh, with the title Claims of Shoddy Production Draw Scrutiny to a Second Boeing Jet and that is what we are going to talk about today. Uh, the jet in question here is 787 Dreamliner. Uh, Boeing's factory near Charleston, South Carolina, where the airline manufacturer produces some of their 787 Dreamliners, has been plagued by shoddy production and weak oversight that have threatened to compromise safety. A New York Times review of hundreds of pages of internal emails, corporate documents and federal records, as well as interviews with more than a dozen current and former employees reveal a culture that often valued production speed over quality. Facing long manufacturing delays, Boeing pushed its workforce to quickly turn out Dreamliners at time ignoring issues raised by employees. Safety lapses at the, at the North Charleston plant have drawn the scrutiny of airlines and regulators. Qatar Airways stopped accepting planes from the factory after manufacturing mishaps, damage, jet and delayed deliveries. Workers have filed nearly a dozen whistleblower claims and safety complaints with federal regulators, describing issues like defective manufacturing, debris left on planes and pressure to not report violations. Others have to sue it Bong, saying they were retaliated against for flagging manufacturing mistakes. Joseph Clayton, a technician at the North Charleston plant, one of the two facilities where the Dreamliner is built, the other one being in Everett, Seattle, said he routinely found debris dangerously close to wiring beneath cockpits. I've told my wife that I never plan to fly on it, he said. It's just a safety issue. In an industry where safety is paramount, the collective concerns involving two crucial Boeing planes the company's 737 MAX and the 787 Dreamliner point to potentially systemic problems. Faulty, planes have been faulty parts have been stored in planes. Tools and metal shavings have routinely been left inside jets, often near electrical systems. Aircraft have taken test flights with debris in an engine and a tail, risking a serious failure. On several planes, John Barnett a former quality manager who worked at Boeing for nearly three decades and retired in 2017, discovered clusters of metal silvers hanging over the wiring that commands the flight controls. If the sharp metal pieces produced when fasteners were fitted into nuts penetrate the wirings, he said, it could be cat catastrophic. Mr. Barnett, who filed a whistleblower complaint, with regulators, said he had repeatedly urged his bosses to remove the shavings, but they refused and moved him to another part of the plant. A spokesman for the Federal Aviation Administration, Lynn Lansford, said the agency had in inspected several planes certified by Boeing as free of the debris and found those same metals silvers. In certain circumstances, he said, the problem can lead to electrical shorts and have caused fires. The FAA issued a directive in 2017 requiring that the Dreamliners be cleared of shavings before they are delivered. Boeing said it was complying and was working with the supplier to improve the design of the nut, but it has determined that the issue does not present a flight safety issue. Less than a month after the crash of the second, second Boeing 737 MAX jet uh, in Ethiopia, Boeing called North Charleston employees to an urgent meeting. The company had a problem. Customers were finding random objects in new planes. So-called foreign object debris is a common issue in aviation. Employees are supposed to clean the bowels of the aircraft as they work often with a vacuum, so they don't accidentally contamine, contaminate the planes with shavings, tools, board or parts or other items. But debris has remained a persistent problem in South Carolina. 
in an email this month, Brad Zebeck, the head of the 77th program, reminded the North Charleston staff that, that straight objects left inside planes can potentially have serious safety consequences when left unchecked. The issue has caused Boeing at other plants. In March, the Air Force halted deliveries of the KC-46 tanker built in Everett, Washington, after finding a range boats and trash inside new planes. Planes have also been damaged due to manufacturing. A Dreamliner built for American Airlines suffered a flood in the cabin so severe that seats, ceiling panels, carpeting and electronics had to be replaced in a weeks-long process. While inspecting a plane being prepared for delivery, Mr. Clayton, the technician currently at the plant, recently found chewing gum holding together part of a door stream. It was not a safety issue, but it's not what you want to present to a customer, he said. In North Charleston, the pace of production has quickened. Starting this year, Boeing is producing 14 Dreamliners a month, split between North Charleston and Everett, up from previous 12 last year. At the same time, Boeing said it was eliminating about 100 quality control positions in North Charleston. They are trying to shorten the time of manufacturing, but are you willing to sacrifice the safety of our product to maximize profit? And this is how the article ends. It is a very impacting story and it can lead to a huge uh, impact on Boeing because they are already being criticized by the 737 MAX accidents and now they have this this very um, important issue raised on their Dreamliners. Today is Sunday, today is Saturday, so it's likely that Boeing will not say anything about this, but if this gets, um, if this becomes viral or it has, or it goes mainstream, um, we can expect Boeing to say something about this, uh, but that's it for now. If you want to read the entire article, I will leave the link in the description. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.